Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This video is all about getting your strawberry plants ready for the new season. So what are we gonna do to refresh them, get them going for the spring? Today is March 10th, I'm in Maryland Zone 7. These are my strawberry towers. We're gonna to go behind me too to just plain containers of strawberries. I'll show you how to set both of them up for the spring so that they really take off and start growing for you. First thing, people ask me a lot of questions. Can strawberry plants survive winters? Yes, I'm in Maryland Zone 7. January, February, we will get nights that are well below freezing, you know, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and we may have consecutive days or weeks of freezing temperatures, and you can see in here, a lot of the strawberry plants are coming back. And what we're worried about today is really what's coming back right at the crown, the tiny leaves there. That's all you need is a little bit of green, your plants are good to go. We're gonna clean up the plants. I'm gonna show you how I fertilize them with some basic organic granular fertilizer, water-soluble fish emulsion, we're giving them nitrogen, and then some compost, leaf mold, whatever you have to fill up the pockets. Now, the other question I get is, do I have to change my soil? Container soil, in my opinion, about every three years, you need to amend it fluff it up, you know, restore some of the organic matter in there. So these are all either first year, second year, that one on there is going on its third year of growing. So I'm not going to refresh the soil. If you want to check out my YouTube channel, look up container soil refresh. I will show you how to do that. So let's get started with the basic cleanup, which will be really just taking the leaves and trimming back anything that's dead. You could use scissors. If they're dry enough, you can just get in there, break them apart. You just wanna make sure that when you're pulling on them like this, you don't pull up the whole strawberry plant roots and everything like that. Sometimes that happens. You don't have to be overly gentle with them, but just make sure you, know, you don't pull the plant out. When we come over to this tower, and we start looking around, you can see a little bit of growth right there. That's all that you need. So let's start with, let me clean these up a little bit, then we'll do fertilizer, we'll add in the compost, we'll do the fish emulsion, then we'll water them in. Now these are my green stalk vertical towers, I'm affiliated with them. If you want to check out the video description, you can pick these up. They're wonderful for strawberries, leafy greens, I grow peppers in there. I'll be doing a whole series on it. So right up top here, you can sort of see that I've dropped runners down from um, last year really and dropped them into different pockets and all the baby strawberries basically have grown in the other pockets but now I'm just cutting this all off and you're just really trimming all of this away now you can't see up in this pocket um, but there's two strawberry plants growing in there which is fine I'm gonna leave them there you could you know get a shovel in there dig one of them out put it into a pocket where there's no plant or something like that but I tend to do that towards the end of the season so I did that a lot last year just happens to be some really nice plants coming up in here so to give you a better view let's take a look at this one any leaf that is beat up like this one I'm just cutting off you're really just cutting everything back and getting to leaving the crowns that are in there let's see that might be hidden a little bit I'll do a close-up in a second but don't be afraid to over trim the strawberry plants back pull everything out again just don't disturb the roots of the plant by accidentally pulling them out it's just starting to warm up here these will take off that was the runner cutting that off and that's all you're really doing you're just cutting everything back so I just did the top two rows here, and you're just cutting back any problematic leaf. Any leaf that looks like that, starting to brown, you know, it's gonna die off. It's only March 10th, these are gonna take off, especially when we fertilize them and feed them. So you're removing all the leaves that look like that. So you end up with something like that. Now, any basic organic granular fertilizer, and watch how little I put on there. Just a little bit in each pocket. Not a whole lot. You can put it right on the plant. As we're cleaning them up, you'll just come back, knock it off the leaves, just like that. And it's just a little bit of granular fertilizer, so it breaks down over the season, feeds the plant a little bit. The main feed is going to be water-soluble fertilizer, and I will feed all of these 
with water soluble fertilizer today. I will do it again on April 1st and I'll just make sure these plants have the nitri nitrogen <laughs> that they need to take off. In some instances you may have, let's get some compost, some areas where you need to fill in space. Let's see, these don't look so bad but you would just basically you know drop in a handful of the compost and then make sure you just move it around free open the space around the strawberry plant you don't want to bury the crown that's down there and that's you know plenty of compost so he did organic granular some compost and now we're going to water it in with the water soluble fertilizer here's a better example of a pocket that needs to be filled up you can see that it's just really shallow and then just drop the compost in and you're just filling it up you know so that you have more soil in there and then another handful or two would go right in here if for some reason see how low that is in there you could put a shovel in here all the way to the bottom and then just lift the crown up to about here actually let me show you how I would do that this strawberry plant is pretty far down in the container and you really want to bring it up to here so just drop a shovel in and you're just getting under the strawberry you're not hurting it and you're just kind of digging it out because it's just coming out of dormancy and look how much I'm tearing out of this you're not gonna harm it so I'm raising it up a little bit that's the crown that's what you want to stay above the ground something like that and you could do that with all of your plants if you want to. If this was two or three plants, you could pull this whole thing out, divide it down the middle, put it back in, water it in, water it in, you know, keep it moist. It's going to do perfectly well. These are just coming out of dormancy, so you can do all this maintenance right now. So now that I lifted that up, a big handful of compost goes in there. Tuck it around the roots. This needs a little bit more. and then just press it in. This strawberry plant is good to go. And you can do that for every plant if you need to. But in these vertical towers, you really want to bring them up higher to the rim. This plant's going to do really, really well. This tower is done, except for watering it in with the fish emulsion. I'll do that in a second. You want to really do this when your leaves are starting to show and they're pretty predominant. So this variety does a little bit better in a cold, so it's starting to pop. The variety over here is just starting to send out its leaves, so I probably will wait, you know, another seven days or so, maybe ten days, till the leaves are a little bit bigger. It's a little bit easier to manage putting in new soil when the leaves are a little bit bigger. But this guy is ready. So any organic granular fertilizer that has N, P, and K represented, whatever you want to use, whatever's on sale. The fish emulsion I use is the Alaska Brown, Alaska brand. It's a 511 NP and K. That's what I use mostly in my garden for nitrogen because it's 5% nitrogen. So it's one or two tablespoons per gallon. I forget what it says, but just follow that. And you're just really soaking in each pocket. That's once. You really want to load up the nitrogen on the first day of taking care of these. Here's another example. And then I might do this again, you know, in three weeks or a month. But I would just give it one quick drink. That's a one quick drink. That's two. And that's going to give the plant everything it needs to take off. All right, let's go over to the other containers, the single containers. You might have a basic container of strawberry plants. This is great for flower boxes, too. I'll be doing a video on strawberries that are being grown in raised beds or as ground cover. So... A lot of these were actually divided and put into those vertical towers that I showed you. Same idea. Handful of organic granular sprinkled across the top. Put it in now because you want this to fall down to the bottom. And then you're just getting in there and you don't have to be gentle. You know, break off the leaves that are dead. And I'm just protecting the plants making sure that I'm not pulling the roots out and whatever is in there that are leaves or spent you're just kind of plucking away and it's just this quick 
you know, with a little practice, you can do this without scissors. Any weeds that are in there, pull out the weeds. All right, that looks pretty good to me. You can get some scissors, cut off these uh, runners and stems. We already put the organic granular down. Now, if you're on a budget, you don't have to do the organic granular part. The fish emulsion or the water-soluble fertilizer will be enough. But I do want to throw in, you want to add in some compost. Now, your strawberry plants will live a good five years. They're going to reproduce, so you'll see strawberry plants hanging around here. But a single plant is good for at least five years if you're taking care of it. We're not putting a lot on here. You know, just enough to add in some compost some fresh soil. So this will be kind of a slow, steady feed with the organic granular fertilizer, the compost, and just water it in really well. The first soaking of the organic water soluble, just really soak it in. Again, you could do this in three weeks, four weeks later, not quite as much, but this will give it plenty of nitrogen for the strawberry plants to come out of slumber. and they're good to go. So I wanna do an experiment. I'm not gonna put in compost or granular fertilizer. There's about 15 strawberry plants in here and a dandelion I see. I'm just going to really soak this in with about a gallon of fish emulsion. And I just wanna show you, like if you don't have time or you're on a budget, you don't have to do everything, you know, exactly as people show on a YouTube channel. Like I wanna show you a good, pra a best practice maybe, but, here we go, one shot of fish emulsion. We're gonna leave these strawberries as they are, not even clean them up really. And if you wanna subscribe and follow, let's see how well these do compared to the two containers that I'm gonna clean up. And I bet you we're not gonna even be able to tell the difference come mid-July. So, just set it up, organic granular, compost, some water-soluble fertilizer. If you can't afford or it's not in your budget for granular type, compost just give them a really good drink at the fish emulsion all of my containers will be set up to look like this over the next couple of days over the next month these will really take off if you want to subscribe and follow me i'll show you how i care for the strawberry plants i'll also be doing a video on feeding the blueberry plants as they come out of their slumber but i really recommend strawberry towers strawberry containers they are really easy to grow a little bit of care coming out of the winter and they're going to be good for the rest of the spring and summer and mix your varieties do some June bearing where you might just get you know one round of strawberries in June do some ever bearing where they'll keep going throughout the season thanks for watching please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and give strawberries a try and again please subscribe I'll show you how I plant and care for this entire garden